Okay, YouTube world, found Melissa. How are you today? I'm good. Awesome. So can you give us a little bit of history on uh, what brings you to Camden? Um, I'm an addict. I've been using since I was 14, um, 38 now. Homeless. And me and my boyfriend are now on the streets. Okay, so where do you sleep at night? Um, we're staying under a bridge. Okay. The bridge? The bridge in? Um, the other bridge. Uh, the other bridge. Yeah. Right. Is there a name for it? You guys have a name for it? No. You just call no it the name. Bridge? Just call it the bridge. <laughs> um, so, um, what, what what do you use? Heroin and cocaine, and I'm also on methadone. Wow. So, all, how, how's that working out for you? It keeps me from not being sick, but the cocaine just is horrible. Doesn't the cocaine? It eats Break it. The, yeah. e eats the methadone. Eats it right? up, and then I have to do the heroin. Okay, so walk me through that. How, how does your thought process work? If you're on the methadone, obviously you have an interest in not doing the fentanyl, but if you're going to do cocaine and take away the... Yeah, I had about 13 years clean, and I, on, on the methadone, I've been on methadone since I was 17. Um, and about a year ago, I got off of Xanax and started wanting to get high on cocaine and it just spiraled into doing the heroin because cocaine's eating the methadone and it just spiraled horribly downward. So do you do them simultaneously? You no, them separate. Okay. Um, what's the difference between the two as far as what you feel? Uh, well, the cocaine is, the rush is totally different. It's speedy and the heroin just calms me more down. Okay, so you, you don't want to do them at the same time. No, counteract no. each other. Yeah, I, some people do as people else, but I, I just, I've never done it. Yeah, I hear it's very common. Yeah. I, 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 it's like an upper and a downer at the same time. It's, it doesn't seem like you'd get anywhere. Yeah, I, I think it's pointless. <laughs> <laughs> Not that drugs are right, a good not thing, that there's but... a whole point to it at all, right? Yeah. Um, so, do you think the reason for your addiction is deeper than just a, a chance happening? I never thought about it. I, I mean, all these years, I, I never thought about it. I, I know in all the rehabs and outpatients and inpatients that I've been to, they always try to get to the root of it, but, I mean... I'm not going to say, oh, I had a horrible childhood, that's why I'm using... I can't blame it on anything but myself and wanting well, I mean, it, to feel high. It doesn't necessarily have to be like a childhood thing. It could be, you know, uh, something you're not through working out in your own head that you're using the drugs as an excuse for, you know what I mean? I mean, at this point... My family's not talking to me. I have two sons, and they won't speak to me. Um, are they bridges burned, or they just they just don't, don't have no, the ability to tolerate? No, if I get clean, they will. I, I'm able to go back. That's awesome. But right now, I'm just not ready. I, I'm just not there. How does one know when they're ready? I don't know. I guess I'll know when I get there. <laughs> I mean, you think about it like on a different scale, like, are you ready to go to the grocery store? You know what I mean? Nobody's ready to go to the grocery store, but it has to happen, so you just do it, right? Yeah. So, I'm wondering if drug addiction, I mean, I'm obviously oversimplifying it, but um, I wonder if it just has to be there where, you know, you know it's the right thing to do, so every second is the right time, you know what I mean? There's a part of me, obviously, I, I want to be with my sons, and I want to be clean, and then there's another part of me that just, at this point, I'm like, I have no motivation right now to get clean. Like, we're, we can't go any lower. We're on the streets. We're, you know, stealing to get the money. And it, I just have no motivation. Okay. That, that makes perfect sense to me, sure. Um, other than your, you know, getting back with your family, and especially this time of year when, yeah. you know, you really want to be with family and and see them and laugh and have, you know, just just have that whole bonding thing. Um, so I I wondered if maybe 
people were more interested in getting clean this time of year as opposed to like any other time of the year just because of that family because aspect. Because of the family aspect, yeah. Def definitely. I mean, I, I would love to be there for Christmas and everything. I, I think not even being with the family this time of year because of the snow and the cold. Nobody wants to be out here. Right. Nobody wants to be out here. I don't want to be out here right yeah. now. It's cold. Yeah, it sucks. <laughs> yeah. So, um, okay. Um, that's about um, that's about all the questions I have for you. Um, okay. Anything else you want to add? No. Is there any uh, specific needs that you have? Like, uh, you haven't looked through the trailer yet on what we have, but is there anything that comes to mind that that you you would need i mean you guys are homeless so you're sleeping under a, bl yeah, uh, a bridge so blankets, blankets and hand warmers yeah okay um yeah. i'm pretty sure we have hand warmers and, awesome. and and i'm pretty sure we have a couple blankets back there too so we'll be able to hook you guys up with that stuff awesome. i know it's a pain because when it rains stuff gets wet and you gotta you know you're well, not we're sleeping under, under the bridge we're covered up it, it actually does not leak there oh really so yeah. you, you're not under one of the seams or something no huh? no so you, you lucked out awesome yeah Okay, um, well that's all I have. I appreciate your time. Thank you. And uh, I hope the holidays, you know, relatively good for you. I hope so. <laughs> Thanks Thank again. Thank you.